NTSB now investigating whether hollow fan blades played a part in that explosion. That piece only inside the Pratt and Whitney 4000 engine. Fox 46's chief transportation correspondent Hawker Vanguard live at Charlotte Douglas Airport this afternoon. Uh, Hawker, I'm a scared flyer. You know that. We've talked about this before. People are worried seeing videos like that. Is there any reason to still be concerned here? Well, the short answer is no. And um, as you mentioned, United has always already grounded their 777 fleet powered by Pratt & Whitney engines. And really, a lot of folks here in Charlotte are wondering, does it affect them? Are Charlotte flyers going to be affected by this at all? And the answer there is also no. American Airlines does operate the 777 here out of Charlotte to places like Miami and London. And those are powered by General Electric and Rolls-Royce engines. And actually, if we swing around here to uh, the hangar area here at the airport, uh, we can see there is a 777 there parked off to the side, likely awaiting its flight to London or Miami. But the latest on the investigation into what exactly happened on United Flight 328 is in the hands of the National Transportation excuse me, National Transportation Safety Board now. Now these new images show investigators and United Mechanics inspecting that engine. Now what we have confirmed since Saturday is that this involved the hollow 112 inch fan blade on the front. Now in the aviation community, this incident on Saturday reminded many of us of a very similar incident that happened to a Pratt & Whitney 4000 engine on a United 777 back in 2018. So we'll show you those similarities and tell you what the community is saying about the continued certification of these engines for use on long haul international flights. Paige. Incident here most recent to, of course, that scares flyers, like you said, you know, who are kind of paying attention. But the thing to remember, the aired outcome did not end it safely. Does that become more of an issue on those long-term flights, the long-haul flights? Well, exactly. The, the certification on these engines, it's called ETOPS uh, in the aviation community, and it's rated on a certain number of minutes. In this case, on the 777-200, 180 minutes that that aircraft is certified to fly on one engine in case this type of thing happened, maybe on a longer flight from, say, Los Angeles to Sydney, Australia. But we'll have more on that coming up at 5 and 6. I'm Hawker Vanguard, Fox 46.